So when Mike first came to me with the idea of writing a piece for solo snare drum, um, I gotta be honest, I, I wasn't like super enthusiastic about it. I mean, my, my initial response was like, it's, it's a snare drum. Like what could I possibly do or say with this instrument that hasn't been done or said a thousand times before, you know? And, uh, but that was short lived because Mike then sent me a snare drum and I spent some time, don't tell him this, but I spent some time taking it apart and putting it back together. And um, I, I sort of approached it as if it was this object that, um, that I'd never seen before and that I was going to try and find the little voices that were hidden somewhere inside this instrument. The more I experimented with the snare drum, the more excited I started to become about the possibilities for the piece. And um, I, you know, as part of the experimentation, I was loosening the drum head, I was putting things on top of the snare drum as if it were prepare, you know, preparing the instrument as if you would, uh, as one might prepare a piano by placing objects on the strings in order to get different sounds. It was, so it was the same kind of approach. I knew I didn't want to have any kind of snare, like t typical snare drum sounds in the piece if I could at all help that. <laughs> the piece is actually uh, kind of like a guided improvisation. I have very specific ideas and gestures that I asked the performer, that I asked Mike to, um, to express but how he puts those ideas together and develops them um, is, is largely uh, imp improvised. Um, and we, we talked through about the shape of the piece and when things return and there's a, there's a map that performers are to follow. Um, and, uh, and I really liked, I, I liked this idea of it because I didn't want Mike to be bogged down in the notation of it all. Um, and it also just allows him the freedom to kind of really explore these sounds and these gestures and how they can go together. So it, it turned out to be, you know, what started off as this kind of crazy idea um, turned out to be a really fun collaboration that I am super proud of.